Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to my sewing room. Except this isn't my sewing room. My sewing room is being used as a guest room, and I cannot get in there to do any real sewing. So, in order to satisfy my need to make something, I've been doing sewing adjacent projects. The most recent one is to make pattern weights out of mosaic tiles. I've done another video about making pattern weights, but this is a little different. These pattern weights offer more opportunities to personalize. Let me show you how I did it. For this project, I used two inch mesh mounted mosaic tiles from the home improvement store, heavy duty adhesive, decorated paper, a circle paper punch, and Mod Podge. I cut the paper into strips that would fit easily into the paper punch. Then I cut out several shapes. I used an inch and a half circle because that's what I had on hand and because that size fit nicely on the two inch tiles. Each circle is different and it made for a very modern design. I removed the tiles from the mesh and used the heavy duty adhesive to glue three tiles together so they'd be heavier. Each tile had a smooth side and a rough side and I glued them so the stack had the smooth side on both the top and the bottom. Then I spread a coat of Mod Podge on the tile. Then I placed the circle in the middle of the tile. I paid particular attention to the edges of the circle and made sure they adhered to the tile. Then I used a blunt tool to burnish from the center out to remove any air bubbles. The next step was to apply a top coat of Mod Podge. I let them dry for at least 24 hours. These were so quick and easy to make that my four-year-old grandson helped and I made more than I actually need. But wait, there's more. By the time I finished the project, I decided I wanted a smoother, glossier finish. So I used Mod Podge Dimensional Magic and a skewer to add a final coat. After everything was dry, I covered about 80% of the surface with the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Then I used the skewer to spread the Dimensional Magic over the entire surface. It dries to a nice glossy finish. I'll store them in a decorative container so that they're accessible and add a decorative touch to the cutting area. <laughs> 